Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch. And a couple years back, Unity released a demo called Atom, which was a uh, rendering basically illustrating the graphic fidelity of the new releases of Unity, as well as the new sequencing tools in Cinemachine. And since then, another studio, Oat Studio, has released two sequels to the Atom video project. And today, uh, the two of them have just released the majority of those assets available on the Asset Store, as well as uh, a really cool video, which we're gonna jump in and take a look at right now. So this is all actually available on the Unity blog. I We'll, um, post this down below, but essentially they talk about all the assets for episode two and three being released here and an executable for basically episode two. So you can watch episode two, but you're watching it rendered in real time and you can kind of do a little bit of staging and interacting with it. And that's what we'll see in a second. Um, on top of that, uh, they also released character packs, uh, so three of the characters from this particular movie. Now, this movie built on the assets from the earlier stuff, uh, as well as an environment uh, photo, photogrammetry, photogrammetry pack, uh, which is your level and the textures, etc. Plus, as well, uh, this is where the 1K of textures. You can also download a, a 4K texture pack, yeah, very big in size, mind you. And then an Alembic timeline sample. And this is... Um, Alembic data is a data interchange format for a lot of things, such as uh, um, fluid simulations, particle simulations, etc. It's a data interchange format that um, Unity now actually supports. So all these things are available in various downloads on the Unity store. And the first thing I'm going to look at today is this new video. So let's go ahead and run it. They say it'll run 30 frames per second on a 1060. Uh, today we're going to run it at ultra settings on a um, 1080p. Let me turn my speakers down so it doesn't blow at our ears and essentially this is a uh, a movie basically being shot in real time in unity and i gotta admit it's actually really really impressive and this is where the assets we're going to look at in a second are being utilized so we're talking really high quality stuff if you're here as a game developer unless you're doing cinematics or cutscenes, this stuff isn't going to be that great for you and i do have to warn you uh, there's various different licensing on on the different pieces attached today so there's not one catch-all universal license uh one of it was under um CCO or CC attribution. Uh, another one was under a custom license, etc. So do be sure to check out the license before you go ahead and use any of these assets in any of your own projects. But here you go. This is the um, uh, Adam uh, Two Mirror, I believe it was called. I forget the exact name of it. Uh, but what's cool here is I can actually at any particular time uh, pause this. Right. So this is real time rendering. It, it looks like cinematic for sure. But watch this. That is freaking cool. So at any point time, you can zoom in and out of the scene. You can interact with the scene. You can see how it's rendering. And you know what? For people that bash on Unity for its graphics capabilities, well, this is real time. And this is really impressive. So this is pretty much as good as any AAA graphics get, in my opinion. You can scrub forward and back in the timeline. Of course, you can jump in and out this way. And then again, at any time, uh, we can pause it and move around, zoom out, etc. So <laughs> it's really kind of cool. And a lot of this is to demonstrate, again, the. Um, the, the Cinemachine stuff that they've added, some of the rendering effects they've added, and it's it's truly impressive. I do recommend you watch this video if you haven't already. It's, it's quite cool in the first place, um, but to actually download an executable version of it that's an actual scene in real time that you can uh, pop in and around is also, well, it's extremely cool. I wonder if this is actually in some ways the future of cinema. Are we going to be able to you know, create our games fully in 3D and then uh, navigate around them, check whichever camera angle we want. Now do take a look at that guy as we walk past. Where did he go? Yeah, we passed him, but that guard is one of the new assets. So these are all assets from the original Adam. That guard was a newly added asset as is this priest guy. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm not going to ruin the whole video for you if you want to go ahead and grab it. But it is an impressive video. And like you saw there, you can actually get in there, interact with it, compose, see how the scene uh, looks from different angles, etc. And you can also, again, really see the graphics capabilities of the Unity engine in its modern iteration. Now, 
here I am, I've got, went ahead and actually downloaded the assets. And this is one of, this is the guard asset that we just saw in the video, uh, flip by for a second. And this is the level in the scene. Uh, they're all available on the asset store. Just locate them, for example, here's the, um, I'm not even gonna try and say that word again, but here's the environment, for example, and then the three uh, character packs are all in there as well. Do be warned, they are pretty big, 1.4 gigabytes, and they actually are causing errors. I'm not gonna go into a great detail of what they are, but, um, there are definitely errors in there that prevent me from running this. Um, and on top of that, the lighting. Uh, so my lighting is not pre-calculated and I started doing a calculation and walked away and my 32 gigs of RAM ran out. Um, so you do be aware, it's, it's a bit of a pig for actually doing your lighting. But here is the scene in question. Oops, I think I just walked into the world. Yeah, let me try and get back into focus. So here's the, one of the characters you can download in the pack. Uh, this is the guard character, like so. Pretty impressive, really high detail. Look at that, and then this is the level that that was shot at as they were walking up. It was a mine that they reproduced in uh, the Unity engine. And this is all downloadable right now. Again, if you do do the lighting calculations on this, expect it to be a bit of a pig. Uh, but still pretty cool stuff going on here. And then if you look over here, uh, these are the assets as imported. So there's the cult leader, uh, mirror, and then traction guard, and then three new ones being added. And then this is the separately imported level that you see in front of you. And as I mentioned earlier, there the licensing on this stuff is all pretty, uh, pretty random. Uh, so do be sure to check it out before you go too far in and use this in your own project because uh, it may not be actually appropriate to do so. So that is the new released uh, assets from uh, Adam the Mirror, Adam 2 and Adam 3. Uh, definitely worth checking out that video if nothing else. It's kind of cool to see all this really high quality stuff that we've been afforded to play with in the last little bit. And I gotta say, it's, it's pretty amazing the uh, level that uh, uh, Unity is getting to. The graphics fidelity, as you saw from that video, are, are quite impressive. Uh, again, a bit of a pig, so make sure that you have a solid GPU before you go ahead and run it. But as you saw today, I ran it just fine on a 1080 at ultra high settings. So um, it's cool, it's definitely worth checking out. And potentially this could be the future of film. Uh, kind of neat to be able to pick your own camera angles and pause things like that in real time. Um, anyways, let me know what you think. That is the new released uh, pr uh, Adam uh, assets from episode two and three. And of course, all the earlier Adam stuff is there as well. So if you want to play around uh, with this uh, kind of stuff, also the, the Cinemachine configuration files were all in there. Uh, there's the stuff again for the uh, Alembic timeline that you can go ahead and download. I didn't get the sample pack here, uh, but this controls uh, various different things. If you want to learn more about Alembic, do actually go check out this earlier post. It shows how it was used to do various different things like manage the cloak. Um, and you can see it, how it was integrated in, like so. So, uh, very, very, very cool project. If you want more details, of course, do go ahead and check out the link I will throw down below. Let me know what you think. I uh, hope you found that kind of cool, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.